Welcome to View from the Top, where our guest this week was Sir George Buckley, Chief Executive of 3M, the US diversified manufacturer that makes everything from scotch tape and post-it notes to dental equipment. Now, Sir George is hardly the typical US corporate titan, hailing from Yorkshire in Northern England and a pathetically poor background, he's rather forthright in his opinions. And that sometimes leads him into trouble, such as last year when he told the FT that President Obama was anti-business. So I started by asking him whether anything had changed since then to alter his opinion. Well, uh, I think that uh, the President has probably softened his stance on some of these things and maybe has uh, uh, realized that maybe uh, some of the positions he took uh, were, were not all that helpful. So I think probably things have improved a little bit since then. And the, the person he's most likely to face next year, uh, or sorry, the, the later this year, is a former businessman, Mitt Romney. Um, are you more optimistic about the sort of policies that he might put forward? Well, I, I, I think yes is the answer to that question. I think, you know, he's, he's been in business, he's been very successful. Uh, I think that uh, in the end, ultimately, he'll probably do what's right for business, and, uh, you know, some people might different opinions on this, but I think uh, what ultimately is right for business is generally right for job creation, and job creation is generally right for the country. So I'm hopeful that that will, uh, will get better if Mitt Romney gets elected. Mm. And both here in the UK and, and, and over in the US, there's, a, there's rather a renewed political focus on, on manufacturing. Um, uh, do you think that the political leaders, despite their focus, do, th do they really get it? Well, it's hard to know, and you know, it's 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 like uh, uh, if you're a theoretical physicist talking to to somebody who's not about theoretical physics. Uh, I mean, there's just some things that uh, it, it's not in their uh, in their experience base. So I think they want to understand these things, and I think they're genuinely positive about them. They realise that uh, uh, you know, manufacturing is 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 good for job creation. It's good for wealth creation. I mean wealth creation in the Adam Smith sense of the word. I don't mean more money for me or for you. I mean money that will ultimately trickle down into society. So I think yes, they, they, they um, intellectually understand that this is, uh, this is good. Uh, I'd only insert here if I can that uh, there are a couple of other things that need to get focused on. And uh, The second is mining and minerals extraction and agriculture. They are the three great value creating enterprises that exist in the world and that's what a nation ought to do. I mean, there are some other things they can do on some service businesses that, that, that help, but they would be the three things I would do, manufacturing being number one. But if you were, uh, I mean, looking at manufacturing itself and to, to get this sort of magic rebalancing of the economy that mm -hmm. people talk about, I mean, what would your sort of key policies be? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the core, we should strong uh, if we wanted some some immediate uh, immediate benefit but uh, uh, my